From the TommyMedia.com newsroom, I'm Sylvie Renan. After receiving threats from the NCAA to withhold sporting events from the state, North Carolina repealed their section of the House Bill 2 that forced transgender people to use the bathroom that corresponded to the sex on their birth certificate. According to the Associated Press, in the five academic years ending last spring, the state made $71.4 million from 28 neutral site NCAA events in the 2021-22 to academic year. North Carolina has potential to make $250 million from NCAA sporting events. U.S. District Judge Derek Watson from Hawaii issued an extension to the hold on President Trump's tra travel ban. Government attorneys filed appeals to Watson's decision to the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. In Massachusetts, a man who asked for real butter on his bagel and was given a butter substitute instead has sued two Dunkin' Donuts owners and won a settlement. According to the Boston Globe, Jan Pol Polanik sued named two companies that own more than 20 stores. Polanik's lawyer, Thomas Shapiro, acknowledged that his client's complaint is a minor thing, but they decided to sue to stop the practice of representing one thing and selling a different thing. St. Thomas Business 200 professor Barbara Gorski was named Turning Point USA's professor watch list, a directory of college professors who are accused of advancing a liberal agenda. The watch list has been up since November 21, 2016. Over 170 professors across the country are named, including Gorski. According to the professor watch list, Gorski is named because she showed a documentary about campaign finance that negatively portrayed the Koch brothers. The site also says she taught students that success is based upon race and that they should share the fruits of their privilege and they should feel guilty if they have more money or success than someone else. Check TommyMedia.com for the full story. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Sylvia Renan.